Hey friends, do you hear that buzzing? It's time for the Unbereathable Challenge, hosted by CJ DIY, Jackie from Crafting in Mimi's World, and co-host Christine from DIY Craftaholic. I'll have a link to the host and the playlist in the description box. For my first DIY, I'm going to make my bee wreath. I have a garden pick. I picked this up two years ago, I believe, at Hobby Lobby. Um, it may have been a dollar. It was like marked down to like bottom dollar, originally $4.99. He's got a barbecue fork, I guess, in his hand. Thought it was cute. I got some greenery from um, Old Time Pottery, I think. Some yellow roses from Joanne and a beaded wreath from Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to do a very simple layering. I like half wreaths. So I want to start by just having some of this greenery layered as my base and then add some roses on top of that. And then add my cute little bee guy. So I think on the side, since the bee is vertical, if I just put a little bit of greenery and then maybe pop some of these rosebuds onto it. I think that'll be cute. For my bee when I took it off the packaging to try to get that um, steak off I just used the pet snipper from Dollar Tree and then I knew that the hot glue wouldn't hold the bee onto the wreath because the hot glue and the metal they just they won't really bond together so I ended up using one of the wire ties that held the bee onto the packaging to hold it down and then I added some Gorilla Clear Grip glue so I could get the bee steady and have a permanent hold. I decided to add just a few more rosebuds to the wreath and then I gathered up a couple different ribbons. I have a honeycomb pattern, a black and white buffalo check, and then a black and white stripe, 
and I went ahead and chose the black and white stripe to accompany the honeycomb. I thought the stripe on that, the stripe on the bee, the, the two patterns look really cute together. So I made like the awareness bow and I used um, another one of those twist ties that held the bee down to hold the center portion of the ribbon and then I did the same thing with the striped ribbon and then I put the striped ribbon behind the honeycomb so that would be um, like the focal point of the bow and then I attached them both with the excess pieces of the twist tie so I could get them attached to the metal part of the bead wreath and I added just a little bit of hot glue to attach them to each other but for them to really be secured to the bead wreath they needed that twist tie just to hold them both down. And just as a final finishing touch, I just added a little bumblebee to the center of my bow. I made it with Dollar Tree beads. I'll link the uh, video where I made those last year in the description box. And that was it for my bumblebee beaded wreath. Let me know what do you think of it. Okay, more from my stash. I purchased these shoes a couple years ago from Walmart. I was gonna do something really creative with them and I just never did. So I have this stencil from um, Chaka Tour and this ink, permanent ink for fabric. So I think this bee stencil would look really beautiful on these shoes. So, I'm going to go ahead and get this applied.
for this DIY, I'm using one of the um, pieces of decor from Dollar Tree. Um, great shape for a bead DIY. I'm gonna use the back side. I've already removed the sticker. Got some pure gold folk art paint, some white uh, crackless closet paint, diamond wrap, and a bead decal that I found um, in Design Space. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this covered in the white paint. And since there was enough room up top, I decided to go ahead and cut out the word queen and I added that on top. And I'm using the Dollar Tree clear contact paper as my transfer tape. It seems to be working pretty good, although it does leave a bit of a sticky residue. So to complete the look, I want to add a little bit of bling, some sparkle. So I take some of the Dollar Tree diamond wrap and my handy Gorilla Glue and I just cut strips for each section and apply them and press them in with um, a toothpick to make sure that they're pressed down and secure. I have this beautiful spring floral headband from Dollar Tree, 10 millimeter pearls and 14 millimeter pearls, a piece of lace that I separated from a, a piece of burlap ribbon. So I'm going to make pearl beads to add to my beautiful floral headband. And because hot glue will be just too clumpy, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Gorilla Glue. Let that get tacky. And then add my smaller bead on top.
to make the wings, I'm just clipping off some of this lace, adding a little bit of hot glue to cinch it in the middle. And then I'm going to hot glue this right on top of my pearl bees. And I have beautiful wings. Okay, so I have three bees to add on this headband. Three is the magic number. One on the top and one on either side. I'm going to use the Gorilla Glue to adhere these to the headband so it'll have a longer lasting hold. My assistant Chelsea is modeling this wonderful headband. I think this turned out so cute. You can also put this on like hats, use your imagination, sun hats, great for the springtime. I think these are just adorable little bees. For this DIY, I have a trinket box from Dollar Tree with these beautiful like honeycomb designs in it and this beautiful glass, like glossy gold lid. I have an old bee pen that's turning green. And I'm just, you know, it's costume jewelry. So I think this would be really cute on top of my trinket box. And I'll get it attached with my handy dandy Gorilla Glue, but I need to get this piece pulled off the back. So I'm just nipping at the back of this, trying to remove the pen and get it to where it'll lay down onto the top of my trinket box. And this tool I found at Dollar Tree in the garden section, it's like a little um, a mini pruner and I'm gonna get this attached with my clear grip Gorilla Glue for a permanent hold. And here's a look back at my other bee-themed DIYs from this video. These have been so much fun to create. If you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to my channel. It's totally free, and I'd love to have you on board. Don't forget the playlist. I will have a link in the description box for the playlist and all of the hosts. I hope you have a beautiful day, and God bless you.